Welcome back. Another test drive here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. This is a 1986 Chevy C10. Old step side here, 350. Fire steering power brakes. Beautiful blue. Nice paint on this one. Nice tires. All the chrome and trim. Looks like it's been replaced too. And the interior is in great shape. Dual exhaust. Wood bed. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. Detailed pictures are at maplemotors.com. We update that every single Monday with new inventory. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Interior is so nice on this one. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a little game we play here on the channel. I've been playing it for years. Interior's clean. Missing some vents there. Start it up, let her warm up. She does start up good. Show you the mileage. Sounds good. Blower motor. Yeah, it's cutting on. We'll see if we can get some heat. Controls work good. Ooh. Nothing doesn't feel like it's mounted very well. Let's see if I can open it from the inside. There we go. Glove box nice and clean. Okay. Try some other stuff such as wipers. Our switch is messed up, but the wipers do work. I don't know why they put the high beams here on the dash. Put it in the floor. <laughs> Got our gauges. Looks like our temp's gonna be broke. Full pressure. That gauge seems to be working. Gas gauge. Eh, I'm gonna say that gauge is broke too. We are blowing, and it feels cold still. <laughs> it felt warm up here, just barely. Okay. Turn signals. I hear it, but I don't see it. That one's blinking on the right, so our left bulb's out there on the dash. The right one is working. Horn, did you place your bets? Let's see. Not hooked up. Let's see underneath. Yep, not hooked up, guys. All right, let's hit the road. We'll see how she runs and drives. All right, guys. So in these videos, I take the truck in this scenario here down the road and look for something that's wrong with it we're gonna be checking the steering the brakes gas uh, at the end of the video chip scratches rust dents we'll get some undercarriage shots throughout this and all I ask is hit subscribe and share this video we're gonna take off down the road this is the first first time that I've driven this vehicle power lock switch isn't working over here so that is out we'll turn this off so you can hear the truck Power steering feels smooth. Brakes feel okay. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we can find. Good shift. Straight as an arrow going down the road. Nice tight steering on this one. Brakes. Smooth. Got a little bit of a. Oh, it's that. Back in our throttle. Took a second on the gas there. Same like our kick down, which is our passing gear, is hooked up correctly to the carburetor, so it's not shifting down and you know taking off. It's got a decent amount of power. I mean, you can always pull it down on the column there, or you can go to a transmission shop and have the uh, kick down hooked up. 
Now our gas gauge is way past full, so I'm 100% gonna get some fuel. Looks like we're charging over here. The original engine temperature gauge has not moved and the aftermarket one is broken. pull in here and get a little bit of fuel make sure we don't run out I do believe it's on the passenger side on this one so I'm gonna make a loop around we're gonna put about $20 worth the premium 93 octane. We do that in every single vehicle. Whether it needs it or not. It's just good to put some good gas in them. And uh, after this, we'll check. Oh, we know the gauge doesn't work. It's way past full. We'll check everything out. Get the undercarriage lit up for you. Get the outside shots. Drive past the camera and have a little fun. I'll be back, guys. So they got the gas cap over here on the passenger side. Check it out. And it took every bit of uh, $20, almost five gallons. Well, we know the gauge don't work. Kind of figured that. Okay.
All right. So far, so good. We've been out riding around for a little while now. Engine seems to be staying cool. I've already checked it. The gauges are broke, but it seems to be staying cool. It's running smooth. We got ourselves a whole bunch of test drives to do today. You'll see a lot coming up through the week, guys. Speedo working seems accurate. It's a good driving truck here. Little wind noise coming from the windows. Might need some seals. Like giving you a quiet segment so you can listen to the truck. That old truck looks good. It's like the same one except jacked up in the air. Suspension is stiff in the bed area, which is normal for these trucks, so you can haul stuff. Makes sense, right? We're gonna get turned around, but first we're gonna ride through Brian's Motorsports. If you haven't checked them out, I use them for a lot of wheel and tire setups. Um, also, come down here and get audio done. I'm having some done in my conversion van. The guy already had a stereo in it, and I said, "Well, hold up, this one sucks." <laughs> so I well, come down here and have them make a custom stealth box in there. Keep her sounding good. Look at this. That's pretty wild. I'm telling you. I seen that a few weeks ago and it didn't have that paint job <laughs> or those wheels it's brian's motorsports check them out you can go to brianzmotorsports.com you can look them up on instagram uh, facebook tiktok they got it going on guys and they're right next door to maple motors we send stuff down here all the time as well and people will buy vehicles from us say hey i called brian i'm having this done um and we just take it right next door. I mean, I'll drive it down here for you. But he's basically family. I've known him since I was a kid. And he does very well for himself here in Hendersonville. He's got a lot of football players. He does SEMA show in Vegas. Showing off his rides that he creates. Well, we have made it back, guys. I do appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit subscribe. That helps my channel out. Hit like. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this truck. And, um, of course, give us a call if you see something in the video that you're concerned about. Maybe uh, you want some more information about it. You can call me. We'll even do a little FaceTime. We'll take pictures of the areas that you want. And coming up next is picking out the flaws, chips, scratches, rust, dents. We're going to go over it. I'll be back. Here we go, digging out the flaws. Let's go ahead and get started. Front end on this one looks pretty clean. 
bumper's been replaced. We got some paint drips on here, don't we? Some up here too. I think that'll come off. Looks like it's right on top. Tires, great shape. Spot at the bottom here. And down the bottom here. A little spot there. Chip on the step. Paint's pretty. Spot here. Spot in the middle of the door. Couple little dimples there. Little chips. Spots on top. A little bit of pitting on the chrome on the handle there. on the bumper. Little wax in the corner. Only problem I have with these little hooks is there's no way that this is going to stay. So we need some kind of straps to put on here. And that's what I would replace these little lock pins with. With the tailgate. It's pretty solid on the inside there. It actually shuts good. Let me go ahead and put a pin back. Yeah, these pins kind of suck really. <laughs> I mean, they work, but... Can't use your tailgate. And look how hard it was to get it in there. Let's try it again. Boom. Then you gotta put the lock pin in. Without messing everything up. And that stuff itself did. We'll go up towards the top. There we go. Plus, I'm doing this one-handed, so talent. <laughs> there we go. Tell you what. There we go. Sorry. I'd get those straps like a normal old truck has. A little wax. Ding here. Peeling away there on the edge. Little bumps right there on your step. Little 
ding here. This is a clean old truck. Lights. A lot of good on this one. Temples. Chip up here. Chip on the edge. Little spot up top here. Rails look good. Little seal there is kind of coming up. Let's go ahead and check out our interior. Man, it's nice in here. I like this old truck, man. It's good. Especially for the price. A little chip there. Chip here. Seals new, seats new. Carpet's been replaced. Firmly shut the door. May just need to be greased up. All right, guys. Detail pictures, finance, and shipping, maplemotors.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share. It's time for me to head home. I'll see you later.